Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Carnegie Training here in Japan. Do you find yourself worrying? Do you find yourself dissatisfied with where you are? Do you find yourself complaining about what you don't have? This is a very tricky one because we should be aspirational and we should be ambitious and we should work hard. But sometimes we get things a bit mixed up. We get the balance out of whack. So think about it this way. Yes, you could do better. Yes, there are things you would like to have. But rather than being stressed by what you don't have, don't forget to count the blessings of what you do have. And sometimes we get the balance all around the wrong way. When in fact, we've got a lot of things going for us. We've actually got a lot of things that we're very comfortable with, things we're very happy with, things that we enjoy. But we only concentrate on those things that are missing. And that brings our feeling down for dissatisfaction. Now, dissatisfaction in itself is not a bad thing if it's a driver to make you work hard and to make you aspire to get the things you want. But if it's giving you stress, if it's making you worry, that's not so good. Because we've got to have aspiration without stress. We've got to have the drive to go forward without being consumed by the worry part. We can be on the front foot, but we don't necessarily have to have the health ramifications of stress and concern that come with that. It's a tricky balance. It's a tricky balance. But whenever you're thinking, ah, oh, I wish this, well, think, where's my base platform here? I've actually got quite a lot going for me. I actually enjoy quite a number of things. I'm actually, in most uh, global terms, I'm pretty wealthy. I'm in a first world country, I'm in a good job, I'm in a very sophisticated area of work. I've got a lot going for me. I really don't have that much to complain about. Now, you can still work hard and still be aspiring to something even better, but maybe take out the complain part and just turn it into aspiration. Yeah, I will. I will work harder, I will do more. So count your blessings, not your troubles, because sometimes those troubles can start to mount up and it can bring us down. And when it brings us down, then we can't work effectively and we can't be aspirational and we can't be successful. So let's be positive, count our blessings, not our troubles.